three, two, one, it's showtime. got me laughing. I was waiting for you to twirl. I said, what's this different kind of strut you got going on today? It's the strut when I can't walk in the shoes. That's, <laughs> that's the strut. These shoes are not, they, 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 just because it comes in a nine and a half don't mean everybody's supposed to wear it. <laughs> and it, it is, it's the, uh, it's the stiletto in it. Like I can walk in, uh, I can walk in a very high stiletto if there's a platform on the shoe, then I can handle it. Um, but if there's no platform and it's just the stiletto, I used to blame it on my breasts being so big, but I ain't got those. <laughs> so those are sitting shoes, not walking shoes, These huh? are These are shoes that you get out of the car or you go, or like I'm already seated going, hey family! <laughs> <laughs> So I was trying to, I was trying to do my supermodel walk, oh. uh, uh, but <laughs> my ankles was like, bitch, just get to the chair. <laughs> just get to the chair. <laughs> it wasn't gonna be no too early, but I, I was. I was trying to do uh, my supermodel walk because I had got inspired by the queen, Tyra Banks, who I saw in the Victoria's Secret Fashion show last night. Let me tell you something, baby. Yes. Tyra came out of retirement and she returned to the show after almost 20 years. Look at this entrance. Yes. Look at the queen. Let me tell you, when I tell you what 50 and fierce looks like, this is it. Tyra gave us her iconic smize. She had her lion's mane going on. You talking about queen of the jungle with that lion's mane. Tyra, and I said, is she gonna give us that wink? She looked that way and she winked. She looked that way and she winked. But the only thing, like I love Tyra in all of her glory. But I, I have to say, I wanted to see those legs. Yeah. I mean, because you know, and she had the sparkling leggings on, but Tyra's power is that walk and those legs. Ooh. And I really wanted to see her legs, because you know, even no matter what, the legs is the last to go. So, you know, the... <laughs> and I wanted to see the legs. Now, the one thing I'm, I'm upset about, uh, the Victoria's Secrets about, is I was scared because of her shoes. Because when she was walking, it was a little, she was trying to, you know, stay on those shoes. And let me tell you, those kind of shoes, um, you wrap them in around your ankle, a lot, it's not as stable. And that was a long runway walk. In Tyra Banks, her superpower is her walk. And she had the walk. She had the walk, but you know, the shoes, it was just a long runway walk. And so I, you know, I would have loved if did this Tyra Banks Victoria's Secrets, you know, give us shoes that are stable so she can make you know, that walk, but she absolutely did it. And you, you know what, and, and another thing that I loved is that, that I hate is every time I see these models walking the runway, they look mad because you feel like, <laughs> their face looks mad because you feel like they need to eat. Yeah, you know, it's like, they need to eat, but you know what, Tyra Banks, she was full and satisfied and she ate that. She ate that. You better go, sis. My gosh, and Cher gave an amazing performance. Now Cher performed, oh, look at Cher, and look at, Cher got on sparkling.
Ashley Cargo Pants. I love it in a corset. Now, she performed a medley of her hits. This is what 78 years old looks like. Cher. And let me tell you, Cher looked like that boyfriend of Cher's is keeping her youthful. <laughs> because if you don't know, Cher is with Alexander Edwards, who's 40 years younger than her. So that makes him, if he's 40 years old, he's 38, she's, she's, she's 30, and, and she's 78. Because Cher, show that to Cher when she walking. That walk is saying, I'm getting it on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> that walk right there. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because Cher has never walked like that in a Bob Mackie gown. <laughs> That walk right there is like, I'm confident and every day I'm glowing. <laughs> so Cher, you were amazing. And, and I have to say, and represent for the plus sexy size girls, Ashley Graham tore that runway up. <laughs> Ashley Graham with that body yaddy yaddy. Let me tell you something. Those thighs was rubbing together and set fires when she was walking down that runway. That's how you do it with those thighs. And I love it because Ashley Graham is a mom of three. Twins and, and one, one and then twins. A mom of three and you, she was just walking it. And when you watch Ashley Graham walking, it is a master class in super modeling, okay? And I gotta tell you this, I know this because I know firsthand because some years ago, I did a photo shoot a few years back with Ashley Graham. That's me running like I'm tired. You see me running, I'm, I'm tired as hell. Run, oh Karen, my God! Run. What I tell you, <laughs> trying to. <laughs> we were doing, we were doing a swimsuit photo shoot, and, and let me tell you, running in the sand is hard. We did that about 25 times, running in the sand. And you see how quick I stopped? I was like, are we done? I'm <laughs> and we were running in the water. We had to, and running in the water is hard, and, but Ashley Graham knows her angles because this is what Ashley would do. The camera would be right in front, and I'm gonna start right here, and she would, we'd all be running, and she'd fall towards the camera and go, ha! So it was like all of her face. And so all the other models, we was like, bitch, what is you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do it too. I said, I'm gonna do it. See, I, Ashley thinks she, <laughs> Ashley thinks she all that thing. She a supermodel. So when I ran on the beach, I tried to fall towards the camera. I fell on the camera <laughs> trying to do the same daggone move as Ashley Graham. I'm so, don't even show that no more because I'm getting mad all over again. <laughs> they had me running. I said, you do know I'm not a supermodel. I'm just, y'all just put me in here as an extra. But she knows how to work it. And after doing the photo shoot with Ashley Graham, I, you will never see me walking a runway again. I don't care if it's for a charity. I don't care if it's for sick dogs. <laughs> I don't care if it's for plant a tree or save the kids. I am not walking down a runway because that it, the, watching uh, 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 watching Ashley and watching Tyra. I'm gonna leave that to the professionals <laughs> on there. So to all of the Victoria's Secrets models last night, you were absolutely amazing and so inspirational. It is never. It is never too late. And oh my gosh, and here's another thing. I'm, I'm so upset about this. I was up late last night buying things off the internet. Um, <laughs> clap if you buy stuff off the internet, oh, okay. <laughs> so y'all be with me when I say this. This is how I deal with my stress. Whenever I go through anything and I'm stressed, at two o'clock in the morning, I'm on the internet and I'm seeing stuff and so I will buy it. And so I spend tons of money on clothes I never wear. Uh, and my sister Edie has to then return them because I'm just stressed out. Cause I'm always wondering after the stress goes away, why did I get this backless jumpsuit <laughs> with the cutout? So I, she takes it back. So, or I just mail it back. Now on this show, we do what I wanted versus what I got. And my latest purchase certainly fits that category. So this is what I wanted versus what I got. Sherry edition. <laughs> so y'all, uh, 
Oh, the other day I saw a pair of pants on Pinterest or Instagram or somewhere I can't remember, but it were the cutest jeans with flowers. Aren't those cute? And I was like, it took it took me back like the nostalgia Partridge Family. And I thought, these jeans are so cool, I'm gonna buy these. They didn't have any kind of description, just had the models and everything with the jeans on. And when they arrived, they were not jeans at all. Let me show, they, look, well, not tell you, this, <laughs> this is what I got. This is what I got. This is some kind of doggone material, some kind of polyester material. They don't even make this kind of material. This is, I don't know what, how they made this material. This material is thin and thick, is shiny and dull, is flammable and non-flammable. I have never, ever seen a fabric like this. It's not polyester. And then it came in a clear plastic bag with no label on there, just a clear plastic bag. And then, so tell me I have no chance of getting a refund without telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad at this because I got, I'm, I keep saying I'm about to stop buying stuff on social media, but I keep getting baited and switched in. So I'm trying to figure out how to wash it. There's not a label in these dog home pants. Not a label anywhere in these pants. It doesn't even tell me what size it is, of course. <laughs> Of course. And so getting the right size is just a game of chance. These jeans don't look nothing like that there, though. <laughs> nothing like the picture. Sure. I'm gonna donate these to a circus stilt walker. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna. Donate these daggone pants. What? What? Sure, you remember, remember in the color purple when Miss Seely opened her pants shop? They look like the Miss Seely pants. <laughs> they do. I'm not gonna be with you no more, mister. I free now, mister. That's what they do, look like Miss Seely's pants. I'm so mad at these things. And then they got me, they gave me, and I can't return them, so they go into the circus. And then, then, ladies, I also bought some wigs, cause you see all of these wigs on Instagram. And I wasn't supposed to buy these wigs cause Theo makes, you know, these gorgeous wigs for me, but I wanted to buy these wigs cause they said they were glueless lace front wigs, the glueless wigs. So it means you don't have to put the glue on and you can't tell that it's lace at the front and you're not supposed to see the lace. You know, and I got suckered in because the model was bald headed. <laughs> She was bald headed and then she had a bunch of hair and she would pull it off and show that she was bald and then she put it back on and she was like, see, you can't see the glue. And I was like, well, give me my credit card because you can't, <laughs> you sank. And, and so I went and bought all of these, <laughs> all of these wigs. And then when I got it, I put it on. I put it on because I was like, you can't see the lace. I put it on and I felt like everybody could see the lace front on the wigs. People were talking to me, but they weren't looking me in my eyes. They were looking above my eyes. But they got me because they threw in a free comb and some fake eyelashes. So I bought it. And then the eyelashes and the wig smell like a gas station. All of this stuff, I, it, my whole house smells like it's gonna blow up from these wigs, so they never give you, the, and then look, the, the wigs, they, and they look so good on the models when they have them on. So I bought it, I tried to wear one, and I got about three days I could wear this wig before I started looking like Bozo the Clown. <laughs> on these wigs, they never give you the thing that you're looking at. My spirit is broken. <laughs> Internet, you have won, you have won on me. I cannot do it. Any, I can't do it anymore. They look crazy as heck. And uh, you know what? And I'm gonna work on my shopping for stress problem. I am. You know what? I'm not ordering from the internet no more. I'm going back to the brick and mortar stores. That's why I'm going back. Where if you try it on, you try it on in front of those horrible 3D mirrors, but you know what? You know it fits and you know you can buy it. And I'm not going back to the bait and switch. I don't even want these wigs. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Oh. All of it, just in, in, these, in these pants too that I can't fit, take them. <laughs> can't return them nothing. I'm just, oh my God. When I tell y'all, okay, I, thank you for letting, y'all my therapist, thank you. <laughs>
I love it because it's free therapy. Oh my gosh. Singer Olivia Rodrigo suffered every performer's worst nightmare in concert the other night. She fell through a hole in the stage. Take a look. bad for this poor girl, but I'm going, at least she's 21 and she's young. She, the fact that she was able to pop right back up after she fell through the hole, you can do that when you're that age right there. You get to this season of life, falling is not an option. I'm telling you, every day I twirl, I'm like, I don't, this twirl is gonna take me out. I tell <laughs> yesterday I twirled and, I, and, it, and it went back like this and, I, and it was because I, I had, my feet was ashy and I put baby oil on my feet. <laughs> they finally got baby oil back in stock and I had put it back on my feet. And then. Really? 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 <laughs> really? <laughs> really? No ditty, really? Let it go. <laughs> But I, so I had, I had it all on my feet and the shoes were slippery and I almost, and I almost, but I caught myself because at this age, I cannot fall because at, at this season, if I fall, I cannot get back up. <laughs> that is, most of it, that is the reason why John is out here because he knows he got to come and help me <laughs> get up. But it, it literally, it would take, if I fell through that hole, it would take five people to hoist me up out of the hole and one of them better be my lawyer, okay? <laughs> Because that is so scary. So, Olivia, we hope that you are okay and that you, you look like you're all right. Um, so we hope that you're fine. But uh, I promise you, baby, you're going to have residual aches on your 30th birthday just from that. <laughs> you're going to be sitting here going, why do I have sciatica from 30 years ago? So we hope that you're okay, Olivia. Now, this one, um, this story made me laugh so much. Former President Bill Clinton, he walked into a McDonald's and he surprised the staff at McDonald's. And one employee was so excited to see a president of the United States. She was so excited, she said the wrong president's name. <laughs> yes, she did. Take a look. She still don't know who she hugging. <laughs> okay, because she went, when he said, she said, you Joe, like you. And he said, no, Bill. She said, Bill, this Bill. <laughs> and then she said, I gotta go hug Bill. <laughs> this is Bill. She didn't know who Bill was. <laughs> There is something about going around people who don't watch much TV because they know you're somebody. Yeah. And it's always that look that people, they go, you know what, I know you somebody. <laughs> and they don't know what else to say. They go, I know you somebody. You know who you are. <laughs> no, I really mean, do you know who you are? So you can tell me who you are. So when she said Joe, she knew he was somebody. President Clinton, former President Bill Clinton, he has that look like he's somebody. Yeah. And, and she, but she didn't know his last name when she said, that's Bill. But she didn't know his last name, but she knew he was somebody. <laughs> somebody named Bill. And she had to get that hug. That was so cute. I know she and her family are gonna remember that she hugged <laughs> Bill forever. <laughs> Y'all, we got a great show for you today. <laughs> Later on, my Best Life series continues with the co-founder of IT Cosmetics, Jamie Kern Lima. <laughs> and up next, the stars from the hit BET show, Tyler Perry's sister! <laughs>
been waiting for. It is the eighth season of Tyler Perry's Sisters. <laughs> Which premieres on BET, and after last season's explosive finale, y'all remember this? Ah! I know we're all going to tune in. Take a look. Andy needs to be saved. We need to get Gary out of our lives once and for all. We just gotta kill him. Your wise maids are here. This is a private event. You all can't be here. Actually, we're with the bridal party. Thank you. I'm gonna get this over with. Smith, Krista Renee Hazlett, and Angie Beyonce! You can feel the love. Yes. We have been waiting. Yes. <laughs> we oh. love you so much. Oh. Okay, so the men of Sisters were here yesterday. Y'all had a good time. Uh -huh. Y'all, we had such a good time. And they would not tell me anything, so I'm going to ask again. <laughs> Who stabbed Gary? <laughs> Who stabbed Gary? Now, Sherry, you know snitches get stitches. We can't tell you. <laughs> You got to watch it. Oh. <laughs> well, that I'm going to do, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I just, you know, if uh, your eighth season, y'all, yes. how does it feel to be entering into your eighth season? Oh. <laughs> and still getting the love. Yes. <laughs> I, I yeah. just, I, I think we all feel so incredibly blessed. Yeah. We all started this journey at the same time. It was our first big break. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. so we've been on this journey and since we've seen each other have babies and get married, we've experienced life and death together. And we just, we have an extremely special bond yeah. that, that, you know, we can't really explain. Absolutely. And to be in season eight, like, a lot of shows don't make it to season eight. More, normally, it's like season six. Yes. So to be mm -hmm. in season eight is absolutely incredible. And I find it just humbling and grateful to actually have a job right now. You know, Girl. some of our peers, Girl. they don't have jobs. They're not working. Hollywood is in a weird place right now. So yes. just very grateful. No joke. What yeah. about you, Angie? It's, it's very surreal. And like they said, people are not working right now. I hear so many actors telling me they haven't even gotten an audition. Yeah. Yes. And so to be here and to be so loved by, by so many viewers of the show, it's just, it's just like, it's, it's a blessing. It is. And you know what I love about y'all? Your on-screen friendships feel so authentic, which is the power of, you know, y'all are great actors, but it feels so authentic. Are y'all really, like, friends like that in real life? Yes. 100%. <laughs> really? 100%. Like, we have literally, we are there for each other. We call each other when we when we need help, when we need to just talk. We, we experience life together. Yeah. Uh -huh. These women were with me throughout my process of getting married. Yeah. Um, we, we've been with each other. We've, we've supported each other's endeavors. My yes, friend has an yes. incredible podcast that we all love. And support. <laughs> you gotta check it out, okay? What's the podcast? It's called Keep It Positive, Keep Sweetie. Keep It Positive, Sweetie. Yeah. Keep It Positive, Sweetie. Oh, Sherry, you gotta get into it. Yeah. Oh, I it is so it. good. Yeah. It's yeah, the gems. It. She be dropping the gems. Right. Whisper in my ear, who stabbed Gary? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! You know, y'all look. When we were, when when the men were here, um, well, I asked them a series of questions, mm -hmm. and I asked them which cast member is the most like their character. Mm -hmm. um, here's what they said: <laughs> Who's most like their sister's character? Pam. Oh, Angie. <laughs> Angie, it was unanimous. Do you agree with that? <laughs> I mean, a little bit. Sometimes. Are you like your character. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. I don't. Well, I was gonna say I'm not that nosy, but maybe I am. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, because fans light up social media because they love your character, yeah. Pam. They love the Pam character. So why do you think that is? I think Pam is like everybody's cousin, mm -hmm. everybody's yep. like 
Auntie, you know she's the person in the family that makes sure she keeps it 100. Right. But she also is so nurturing and it comes from such a good place. And she's just, she's fun and she's just full of love. Oh. <laughs> she like Pam. Yeah, yeah. She like Pam. <laughs> now, the one thing I have to tell you, Angie, is your name sounds very familiar. Is it true that you are cousins with Beyonce? Yes. Okay. <laughs> she stole my name, Cherry. Oh, Beyonce stole she your stole name. She stole my name. I was born first. <laughs> you were born first. So Beyonce is really Beyonce of, of the uh, uh, who is the cousin? Lil Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce. Beyonce. Oh my gosh, y'all look so cute. Now Thanks. I have to ask because oh. we, we did Angie. We did a whole Halloween theme show uh, around Beyonce. We had. We had your auntie Tina on the show. Did Beyonce get to watch the Halloween episode? Absolutely. She oh, did. Yes. <laughs> she loves you, Cher. She always has loved you. Well, thank you, Tella. Thank you so much. We had to give away the horse. Tell her we had to give away the horse. <laughs> that horse we had to give to, to, to the boys in Fire Island. That's what that horse is. It's having a good old time between thighs and Fire Island. <laughs> Now, KJ, I follow you on social media. Your wedding was absolutely so wonderful. Thank you. Thank it was y'all. amazing. Thank you. So you did not, you didn't get to watch. Look at this. Yes. yes. My baby. <laughs> now I know on, on, on the show, sisters, you did not get to walk down the aisle. No. But in real life, you walked down the aisle and you look so lovely. You got married Thank in real you. life. And you look fly. You the flyest bride I ever saw. <laughs> How are you feeling now, girl? Is it everything that you thought of It Maggie? is everything plus more. I think people really, they scared me. People were like, oh, you don't need to get married. Don't, you know, it, it was, it was a lot, it's a lot of fear mongering when mm -hmm. it comes to marriage. And especially when you come from being an independent, strong person right. who's used to doing your own. But to meet my soulmate, I wouldn't change that for the world. He's Aww. my soulmate, he's my Aww. partner. The honeymoon every day. And I had the I had the best day of my life. My wedding, people were like, "You're gonna be so stressed out." And I said, I said to everybody, I said, "I'm not making any decisions today." Okay. So everybody's got to figure it out. Yeah. I literally, I got my hair and makeup done like this, and I walked down the aisle and I danced the night away, and I had no worries. It was the best day of my life. Oh, <laughs> and it looks like it too. Oh, <laughs> well, you look fly, girl. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and Crystal, I have to say, I love watching your fitness journey. Oh. You look so good. You you are glowing Thank up. You. Thank yeah. you. Now, <laughs> you down there doing those squats, Listen. girl. Yes. Look at that booty, booty yes. in formation. Yes. <laughs> yes. When I say, them, them right there is grown woman thighs right there. Yes. So tell me, this is, what is your motivation? Sherry, I hit 40. You hit 40. And the pounds were not dropping like they were in my they 20s don't. and 30s, yeah. you know? And um, I was getting a little depressed. My stylist would send things and I just couldn't get them past the, the mm. grown woman thighs. Yeah. I couldn't get them past the thighs. And I said, you know what? I need to really start working out. But recently I just learned about dementia mm -hmm. and um, the things that actually play a part in catching it. And it, it actually shows up 20 to 30 years before you even know right. that you're going to have it. And one of the main things was your diet, um, working out, mm -hmm. rest, your faith, and socializing. And yes. that diet was really a plant-based diet. So I just changed my diet um, and really just taking everything. You gave years. up ribs, girl. Man, and you know I'm from the South. <laughs> I can do that. And you yeah. in the ATL, you well, I'm doing plant-based pescatarian. Oh, plant -based, I'm still okay. a, I need a little meat. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. You gotta have some meat. And, nah. and, it, and it shows you look healthy Thank and you're you. just glowing. You Thank look you. so good. You do it too. I see you. Yeah. No, you look good. Yes. Good. You look yeah, good. I, yeah, I do work out, but I eat that bacon before I go and doing them squats. <laughs> it's Squattober too, so you can join the Squattober. So oh, is that like the 30-day challenge? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I love it. I love yeah. challenges. 15 more days. As long as I can do ribs, I'm good. You can do it. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, y'all, the season of Sisters premieres tonight. Yes. All right, which I'm so excited about. Yes. yes, we are dying to know. So, what can we expect? Oh my God! You know what? It's so much. I will say this because we can't tell a lot, okay. but I will say this: you're going to be totally surprised by the person who actually did <gasps> do it to gear. Really? You're going to be like, wait, what? Okay. Yeah. All right. Like even I was reading the script, and I was like. 
I did not see that coming. So mm, that's okay. all I'm gonna say. And anything you wanna add, Angie and KJ? <laughs> I, you know, I love this season. This is this is this is probably my favorite season because we watch, we, we've grown to love these characters, mm -hmm. and we're watching them kind of do a 180 of who we met in season one. Right. So we're watching them evolve as yeah. people, we're watching people grow. My favorite part, I have to say, of this season is watching. And Angie or Pam. Pam. <laughs> Pam. Angie. We're gonna watch Pam her love life evolves yeah. into something. So we get to see her. <laughs> All right, see Angie! Her. You know, the episode that I shot that I think I'm gonna leave the country on the day that it airs. <laughs> Ooh, is the family gonna be watching? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am dying to know. We cannot wait. I want KJ, Crystal, Angie, I want to thank you so much for being thank here. You. Thank you. Thank I you. love it when y'all come. Y'all got to come more often. Yes. Because yes. we, we just have too much fun on yes. this couch. <laughs> y'all, watch the season eight premiere of Tyler Perry's Sisters. It's tonight <laughs> at 9 o'clock p.m. on BET. And up next, best-selling author Jamie Kern Lima. Keep it right here, y'all. <laughs>
oh my, like the real reason I've not called her was because deep down inside, I didn't believe I was worthy of it. Mm. Didn't believe I was worthy of being her friend. And that is the moment I like literally turned the volume down on my self-doubt because our, our self-doubt's a lie. It lives in our head. It's not Absolutely. who we are. Turn the volume up on that knowing that knows I'm a kick-ass friend. You know what I mean? And picked up the phone and called her. She um, was the first guest on my podcast. That she, Yeah, yeah. And let me say this before I forget. When I told her I was coming on your show, she loves you. So she's like, you've got to give Sherry the best hug. And she ta- she gushed about how talented you are, which we all know. But Sherry, like, I think about it almost, like, I, it almost didn't happen. It almost didn't happen. Right? And that's what lack of self-worth does. We and will doubt ourselves out of our own destiny. Absolutely. That's why I'm obsessed and with And here it is. It. You are a kick-ass friend to Oprah. She needs you, mm. too. Yes, yes. So I love that. Now, one of the other things I love that you do, you believe in daily affirmations. Mm. And what, you know, because a lot of people struggle with self-worth. Yeah. Self-worth, self-confidence, self-worth is deeper. And you believe in daily affirmations mm. to boost our self-worth. So yeah. tell me about that. Yeah, I have so many. I have a toolbox of them, right? Like sometimes I'll get a rejection, for example, or a friend won't invite me to the thing, and I'm tempted in my head to be like, oh, there, you're not enough, you're not worth it. I'll intercept it, I'll replace it with an affirmation I say to myself. For example, one of the ones I use the most often, like if I think about someone that hurt me or rejected me okay. or didn't include me, I will be tempted to think, oh, you're not enough, and I'll intercept it, and I'll replace it with a new definition like, Oh, no, no, God will block your value from people who are not assigned to your destiny. Girl! Right? What right? Is right? Yes. I believe it. And then, what? like, in that case, when I, when I intercept it, which we can all do these things, right? We catch it. You want to catch it in real time because all of us, 80% of women don't believe they're enough right now. That's right? right. This, it, it's a thing. So you got to intercept it, replace it with something you know is true. For me, that's one of my favorite ones. God will block your value from people who are not assigned to your destiny. And then I don't let it take root as I a rejection. Yeah, yeah. I love now. Now, every day, you know, just what should, what would you recommend that we say to ourselves? Okay, you want me to do one now? Do is one everyone now. down to do one yeah, together? Do yeah. I love it, yeah. Okay, good. So right now in the audience, turn to the person next to you and actually look them in their eyes and say, I see you, you are worthy. Turn to your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor. I see you and you are worthy. And That's it. Like, look them in the eye. Look them in the eye. And here's what's true, Sherry. The person that everyone just looked at, most likely, you're going to be the only person that saw them today. Ooh. That saw them this whole week. Yeah. And so what I love to do when everyone gets home, everyone home, live home right now, when everyone in the audience gets home, look in your mirror every morning and just say, I see you. I am worthy. I am and worthy. how often do we not see ourselves? <laughs> right? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, I love that. And self affirmations are so great. And I love that you said that. What's the one about God? God does God will the... block your value from people who are not assigned to your destiny. <laughs> yes. Woo! Yes. And that's who I say. Thank you for being here and bringing that to us because we need that. So many of us struggle with that. So thank you, Jamie. Thank you so much. I want y'all to watch Jamie on the new season of Shark Tank. Your guest shark, that was Shark Tank. You know, like, I'm watching you. We were talking backstage. We should do like a Sherry Shark Tank and like have everyone in the audience with their like their business or their side hustles, that like pour into people. Would not be fun? That sounds good. I was thinking about something like that anyway. That's oh, were very you? Good. Wouldn't that be fun? See, great minds are thinking alike. Me well, lucky. They also asked me my dream guest on my podcast because Oprah's been on Robin Roberts, and I said her initials are SS. Sherry Shep, yes, yes. You know I'll come on your podcast. Yes. I'm doing, I'm, I'm just, yes, I will. So y'all <laughs> listen to her podcast, The Jamie Kern Lima Show, and her book, Worthy, is in stores now. And studio audience, remember that affirmation, but if you don't, you're all getting a copy of Worthy. <laughs> Be right back. Are you ready to have a good Stein? Yeah. All right. Well, I am, and since it's October, that means it's time to celebrate Oktoberfest. And I am here with Carrie and Candace, and they are decked out in leader hosen, and they are ready to play a fun game of pretzels to pence. Is it pints or pence? 
pint, pint. <laughs> so here's how we play. You're gonna toss as many pretzels as you can into your giant beer steins, and after 10 seconds, you move back. And since Oktoberfest is about having a lit time, you're gonna have to play while wearing these beer goggles. So put them on, put them on. Can you see? No. Can you no. see? No. I can't. I gotta be able to read. Okay, so put them on. Now go stand at the first table. Okay, we're gonna have you stand at the first table. There we go. There you go. Okay. I gotta get out the way. All right, we're gonna put 10 seconds on the clock and go! All right, what you doing? I don't know what's going on. Just go. There we go. All right, almost, almost. All right, all right, keep it. Don't go so hard. Oh! All right, let's see what we got. So go over, okay? All right, now take a step back. We're gonna put 10 seconds on the clock and go! Okay, keep going. Now for the final round. We're gonna take another step back. All right, we're gonna put 10 seconds on the clock and go! Okay, all right, there you go. Okay, almost, not so far, Candy. Come on, oh, me this, Candy, go, Carrie! Come on, Candy, yes! All right, woo! All right, now let's go back to the middle, come up to the middle. Now we're gonna announce the winner. All right, let's see, we got Carrie. Carrie, you win. a good sport. We are going to, both y'all were good sports. We're sending you both to Circle Line's Bear Mountain Cruise for an Oktoberfest experience like no other with breathtaking fall views and delicious food and drinks. And we want to thank you for having a good sign. We'll be right back. Jerry, we'll be right back. Want to get away? Go to SherryShowTV.com and enter the word of the day for your chance to win a real good time getaway. Come be a part of my studio audience. Go to SherryShowTV.com for tickets. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sherry, we'll be right back. Did you catch today's word of the day? Make sure you go to SherryShowTV.com to enter for your chance to win this week's Real Good Time Getaway. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sherry, we'll be right back. Put a smile on your face. Tomorrow, actress Julie Bowen will be here. Plus, Tamara Mori Housley will be here. So join us in for the best time in daytime. Bye-bye.